Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today's video is updating you on how I'm going with my 2023 wish list. This video, I am not going to update my wish list per se in terms of adding new things that weren't already included on it at the beginning of the year because I will be doing a separate follow-up video for all the things that I wish to look at on my browsing list for my upcoming European holiday. And so there might be too much overlap if I was to cover that content in these two videos. So on New Year's Eve, I filmed a video. Welcome to you, my name's Dale, and this is Dale's Addiction. Today, it's the 31st of December, 2022, and I thought I should get out of bed. Now, the first thing I talked about was getting a stone-colored Burberry trench. Here is my existing stone-colored Burberry trench that I don't wear so much because it is a little too small for me in the arms now. Something about getting into midlife is the arms grow. Um, and I did purchase a size up in the um, Kensington, coat, Kensington coat in the honey color but it's not really a great complimentary color on me. It just, compared to this one, this one looks makes all my features pop and looks really lovely with my complexion. This one really pulls away from my complexion and I need to make sure that I wear whites or blacks underneath it so that I can kind of get back some of the complexion that I lose from this color. It just drains me. So I do want to sell both of these. This one I'm probably a little bit more sentimentally attached to, but I do think I need to sell both of them. Um, but I'm not going to until I find a replacement, which potentially I hope to find whilst I am overseas. Please, Burberry, bring back the stone color. The honey does not work for all of us. The next piece that was on my wish list was a bracelet. I was looking at a couple of different bracelets um, and I decided that I would pursue the Cartier Love Bracelet option. I was considering a couple from Canturi as well. I always thought that I would be going for the rose gold. And as you know, if you've been watching my channel for any time now, I recently unboxed my Cartier Love in the small size with the six diamonds in white gold. I tried all of the styles except for yellow gold because it's not really my vibe and I was really happy to be able to do so in Melbourne with my bestie and we were able to try all the colors and they had all the sizes available and I picked this one up um, from my husband for our 10th wedding anniversary. So it really fit and all the trash talk that I did about the Cartier love, I take back, I take my foot out of my mouth and say that I'm really loving it. And I've been wearing it since the 19th of May. So I will do a review on it once I have traveled on a plane with it, which I'm expecting to at the end of this month because before that I can't really tell you what it's like to travel with. Next on my list was a new car. I was umming and ahhing about the BMW X6 and my husband and I did go and look at the X6s and we decided for our needs and space and towing capacity and just the general look of the car to go with another X5. In the past we've had an X5, we really loved it and we were lucky enough to be able to put our name down for a car coming into the country in all black with black grills and rims and it's just a stunning car cognac interior if you don't watch my vlogs watch my vlogs you'll tend to see the car in those vlogs but um, was really happy that we were able to secure that vehicle this year. It was good timing for us and yeah, so let's check that one off the list. Next on the list was an overseas holiday. I told you that it was definitely happening this year and it is. And if you haven't watched any of my recent shopping videos, well, you've missed out on quite the accumulation of pieces that I'm using this holiday as an excuse to buy. So we are heading off primarily for the month of September. I'm super excited. We're visiting Dubai. We're visiting a lot of different parts within Italy. And then we'll have a little moment in London and Paris before heading home 
and I look forward to sharing that with all of you. I'm getting very excited and a little bit anxious because there is so much to organize. I mentioned in my wishlist video that my MTO was due to be delivered and it arrived. I think early February I was able to collect my beautiful little baguette trunk in emerald green beads and orchid crocodile trim. I think this is so cute. Um, it's so beautiful. It is so symbolic of where I am in my life and where I've been and where I'm going in terms of something like this I never thought would ever happen to me that I would ever be able to do and I made it just for me not for anyone else just for me and I think that marks a very special point in my journey of knowing who I am and how I show up in the world and it's just a really great place to be in life. I was also waiting on my pink sequin Fendi baguette to arrive and it arrived in January but unfortunately I had some issues with sequins falling off after wearing it just once and very briefly so I really haven't had this bag in my collection for long because it was sent away for repair for I think it was lost on me for about two to three months before I got it back but I picked this one up in early January um, and yes, now it's back and it's repaired, it's beautiful and I'm really glad that I have it in my collection. I talked about the Roger Vivia Chelsea boots in that video and I said I'm taking them off the list. I cannot justify buying them. <laughs> well, just a couple of months ago I changed my mind on that point and not only did I change my mind but I upgraded from a basic Chelsea boot to a bejeweled ranger boot from Roger Vivia and no regrets. These are very light, very comfortable and very, very wearable. I think that these will be a hero part of my wardrobe for many, many years to come. I am so happy that I took the plunge and purchased these and um, yeah, there is absolutely no regret on these gorgeous Ranger boots. They are just amazing. So for something that was hot and cold, hot and cold, when it was the time was right, I was ready to pounce. And that's what wish lists are. They're just, you know, they're dynamic, they move. I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> Another one that was on my list that may make it into my browsing list for my holiday is the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal. Um, I thought that this one might quench my thirst for the Petite Mal, and I did mention that in my wish list video, in that it's a kind of a trunk structure. You'll also see on my top shelf that I have the Louis Vuitton trunk clutch as well, which is very similar. But I actually feel like there are there's still something very unique about the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal that I think it has a place in my collection and I'm still interested. I definitely want a seasonal piece rather than a classic piece. And so when the time is right, when the money is there and, you know, when all of the other um, situational things align, then I will likely purchase one. So it's staying on the list and it may enter my Euro browsing list. And the final piece that was on my wish list, I knew I was getting it when I wrote that wish list when I filmed the video, was my mohair baguette. Um, this piece just brought me so much happiness and a crazy smile that would not vanish from my face from the minute I picked it up. I could not put it down. I could not stop thinking about it. And you guys really encouraged me to think about adding it to my collection because you could see the same thing. And I'm certainly glad that I have. As much as these are not everyday bags, it doesn't matter. I have enough bags where I can wear a lovely bag every day and get the rotation right so that I don't get a pro inappropriate so that I don't get really bad wear and tear on my pieces and I think that's the beauty of having many options to choose from especially if you like crazy things like me. Moving on to some themes that I wanted to explore this year and how I'm going with those. One was I wanted to invest in more ready to wear pieces and I you know thought that that might be dresses and tops. I would pref I would love some outerwear but um, with our climate I really don't know if I would get the wear out of those pieces. Since I recorded the video I haven't bought any more ready to wear but I do have on pre-order a piece from Fendi from the current for winter collection and so perhaps shortly after seeing this video you will um, you will see that piece revealed assuming it fits and I like it and I don't send it back so 
fingers crossed but I do expect that whilst I'm overseas I will probably have access to a broader range of pieces and more sizing options and so that might be a great place for me to explore ready to wear even further. The other thing I mentioned was moving pieces on and leveraging the liquidity in my luxury handbag collection to source and fund other luxury pieces that I was loving and I've definitely done that where opportunities have presented themselves and people have expressed interest or like my recent um, cleaning out my closet video with Connor um, I've really been looking at rather than holding on to things forever in a day to really just look at is it something that I pick up is it something that I love and brings me joy is it something that I'm just over now that you know I don't have the same affection for anymore and if so, move it on, bring in the cash and use it to fund new purchases. And I've definitely felt like a weight's been lifted, that the expectation around being a collector, which I am not really, um, has been lifted. And at the end of the day, as one of my subscribers or viewers, I should say, recently said, I can't take them with me. That's right, I can't. And... So therefore, I will enjoy what I have today whilst I'm alive and well. The penultimate theme on my list was more dialogue fo focused content and I'm definitely doing that. If you haven't caught my Dale Downloads videos, I started those several weeks ago now. Thank you to Bella from the Instagram account Fragabellissima. She loves beautiful things. She suggested that I do like little debriefs on topical issues in luxury like a news event. And so I do those every Monday now. They go for 10 minutes or less. And if you have a suggestion on a topic issue or otherwise something generally happening in the luxury community that you'd like me to do a download on, please let me know in the comment section below because those videos get a lot of traction and a lot of interesting debate and comment. And the final thing in my luxury wish list that I wanted to focus on this year was doing more live chats and really engaging. Now, I think since I probably filmed that, I haven't done too many live chats. I've participated in a luxury live show with Fashionably Amy and Kat L and Meredith and Connor were also on that and we had a great afternoon chatting about some luxury topics. I just did one this morning. I will link that video in the description box below because as I was reviewing this list, I thought, God, I haven't done a live for so long and I really enjoy doing lives. And so sometimes when I have a video topic that I think might encourage some conversation, I'll probably pop it down to schedule a live and we'll do more lives because I definitely enjoy it. And from the feedback I get from you guys, you do too. So that's it. That's how I'm tracking for my luxury wish list so far 2023. It's been a pretty successful year. And I have to say, the only things outstanding are the Petite Mal doing more lives and the stone colored trench. Everything else, I've checked. So, you know, time to stop. <laughs> so many things that came up that were not on this list. If you haven't seen it or I haven't published it already, I have filmed a video on all the bags that I have bought so far this year. And uh, that was rather confronting, but a great video to kind of check in on what I have been focused on in the first seven months of the year. So if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me what's still on your luxury wish list or wish list, wish list and anything that you may have changed on your list as the year has progressed because there's been some significant changes to our economic environment as well. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate you helping me to achieve my 10,000 subscribers. It's been a long haul for this little channel, I tell you that much. A lot of people have gotten there a lot faster than me, but I know the people who are here are the right people and I'm very grateful for that as well. So if you know someone that you think would enjoy my content, why don't you share my channel with them? I would really appreciate it. Another little reminder that every month we have a subscriber unboxing video. You can submit your unboxing to me on Instagram via DMs. The instruction video is on my YouTube homepage and it outlines the format and how to send it through to me and you can be included in our monthly subscriber unboxing something that we all get to do together which is really really special if you have the most creative submission you could win a Dale's Addiction handbag hook which I will send to you for the most creative entry so 
I think that's everything I needed to update you on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Ciao!